Hello and welcome to OpenCV Basics. George here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at actually bringing in video. What we're gonna to use to bring in video is the Video Capture class, and that's responsible for lots of types of video. Not only can you use a file name to bring in a video that might be on your desktop, you can also stream video in using RTP or RTSP, and then of course, you can also use a web camera. In this example, we're just gonna talk about using a webcam to bring that data in. A video file is basically a series of images, so we're going to need to create a mat object which we'll call frame which will store the current frame it'll update to the screen and then we'll process it move along to the next frame and continue to do this until either the files done or we exit out so we need to create our video capture objects let's do video capture we'll call this vid and we'll put a value of zero in there Based on the parameter that you pass into this, m multiple things can actually happen. Uh, vid could load in stream data, it could load in a webcam if we just use a value of like zero or one or two, where the integer value is the specific webcam you wish to access, or we could be putting in a file name instead, and that file name would um, you know, search for that file somewhere on your computer. So now that we have the uh, video capture object, we need to make sure we successfully you know, created that instance, or that is we opened either the stream or the file itself. To do this, we're going to use an if statement, if not vid dot is opened. And the idea here is, you know, if it's not opened, well, then we probably shouldn't be doing anything. So let's go ahead and exit out of this program. We need a loop. So we can do a while loop. And depending upon you know, where you look, there's gonna be two kinds of while loops you can use. You can either use the loop itself and evaluate the condition, or you can do something like true in this case. So while true, keep doing something, or we can do the whole vid dot read, and in read, we'll put frame in here. So the idea is that we're going to continually be reading this information over and over and over again. It returns to a bool object in case it cannot read information, and then of course, we'll exit out of this. The other option though, if you decided to use true in here, would be to push the frames into the mat object manually. We can use the bitwise shift operator to actually push that frame into the mat object. So let's just do a vid, and then of course, frame. These are pretty much equivalent. It's up to you what you want to do. I'll use the read for right now. The next thing we need to do is show the information. So we'll use an IM show. We'll just call this, uh, let's see, webcam. And then we'll push out the frame. So now we need to pause for some length of time. So let's do an if statement. We're going to do a wait key inside of that. And the idea if that is if wait key is greater than or equal to zero, that is wait key returns an integer value equal to the character that you've pressed or on the screen. Wait key returns to you an integer value based upon whatever key you've pressed. If you press any key on the keyboard, I'm going to exit out of this program. Now wait key operates on milliseconds. And if I wanted to have like a preset frame rate, like say we did something like, I don't know, constant FPS, excuse me, constant int FPS is equal to, let's say we want to keep it at a, a 20 frames per second. Wait key, 1000, 1000 seconds. And since it's frames per second, if we put the uh, FPS at the bottom here, that's going to wait for that amount of time. Well, it's going to wait for at least that amount of time. OpenCV isn't exact when it uses, when you use wait key. So you could always be a little bit longer, but you will always be at least that long. And of course, if this succeeds, that is if a user presses a button, break out of this while loop return, we'll just do a return one for success at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and run this real quick. Let's hit run. So it's asking me to select a device in this case. I have a Logitech camera, I'm gonna hit okay. And there it is. There's uh, the Logitech camera. As you can see, it's incredibly easy to query information from these, uh, not a problem at all. But now that you've got this in, you can start doing live processing on input data. And that's where things get really interesting. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it. So long, bye.